Why do people have divisive speech? He, sometimes, when saying a little divisive speech, even this person has nothing to do with ourselves, so why do we covet this? M, having divisive speech, in most cases, is to highlight ourselves. Sometimes it's to show that I'm better than him, look at him like this, I'm not like this. Sometimes it's to highlight myself, look at me, I'm smart, I see through it. All in all, it all revolves around one's own superiority, one's own ability, and thus, he goes to do so, and that is corresponding to the afflictions, that is the standard device of speech. But Buddha also said a lot of highlight himself, that cannot be considered divisive speech. He also said that other people are not good, but that is not divisive speech, because what he wants to highlight is the reason, the principle, and then, it is in the reasoning. His final destination is for everyone to understand the reason, not to highlight himself. Highlighting oneself is all afflictions. Then, to make others understand the reason, that is wisdom. P. If I say, especially when I speak the Dharma, in order to make others understand this principle to give an example, then I may damage the image of another person, at this time it does not count divisive speech, it may count understanding the reason, right? M. It depends on your purpose. If you simply make him understand the reason, and he does understand the reason, that is wisdom. If you say you want to show that you are able, that you are superior, that you are better than others, or that you can see the matter clearly, anyway, that is, everything around yourself is afflictions, that is divisive speech. P. Yes, that means that in our present state, it is actually very difficult to reason without highlighting ourselves, without our own minds of afflictions. M. So, position yourself, position yourself at a certain point, the point you aspire to, the point you want to achieve, position yourself at that point is all right. P. If I position myself as reasoning, it's for the good of others. But if the person who is listening is a little bit afflicted. Suppose I talk about the third party in order to tell the other person, then the image of the third party is definitely bad, that is, in the other person's mind, there is some damage. At that time, it is because the other person has a afflicted mind, is there any fault in the person who said that? M. No. Because, judging it is good or bad dharma, the mind is the root. If you don't have it, you don't have it, and if you have it, you have it. It is based on your own mind. As you say that, many people slander Buddha because he preaches the Dharma, because there is Buddhism, and they slander Buddhism. They even say that it's all divine, it's all a lie. I used to think so too. But when I really went into the tiger's den and caught the sons of the tiger, I realized that there was really a tiger. There were not only the sons of the tiger, but also lions. The sons of the lion can roar at the age of three.